to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, bless the Lord. Thank you, God. Oh, Hallelujah. Oh, Hallelujah. Glory, glory. Oh, my God, my God, I can't get Oh, rebe bebe she kararara hasete. Oh, come on in the room, Ada. Thank you for joining. Share, share, please, everyone, share. God's given me a word for today, Amen. And we want to share, praise God. I am believing God for a word every single day, and I believe He's going to do it. Because he gave me a word on yesterday, but I didn't come on with it. But I'm believing God to do that every day. I want you all to be encouraged every day. <coughs> hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. Glory, glory, glory. Come on in the room. Hallelujah. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Shorarara basi kererebo hose kararabahasaya. Shorarara hasi kererebo hose kararabahasaya. Yerara basi kererebo hose. Come on, let's just pray in the spirit for a minute. Oh, rabababa hasi kererebo hoshaya. Oh, I feel that we're in a place where we need to come together every day and we need to be encouraged and we need to remember the word and we, we, we need to remember who God is. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Come on in and I want you to share when you come in. Praise God. Come on in. I want you to share. Oh, glory, glory, glory. I want you to share when you come in. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Roshi kararara hasi hosaya. And be praying for me. My voice has a tendency to want to act up when I begin to uh, come on and deliver the word. But I'm not moved. Amen. Never have been and never shall be. Glory to God. You know, I have this, but I probably need a toddy. Roshe kanarara basike. Wo rabababa basike rebo hoshi kanarara hase. Come on, let's pray in the spirit. Let's build up our innermost being. Hallelujah. 
Oh, let's build up our faith. Glory to God. Jude 20 said, when we pray in the spirit, we build up our faith. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Glory, 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 glory. Glory, glory. Don't you love the Lord today? Tell the Lord you love him. He is God. He is God. Amen. He is God and there is no other. Oh God, there is no other God. Glory, 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 glory. I felt a need to be in the altar area today. I felt a need that we should be, because in the altar area is the intercessors. Amen. And we're coming together. Oh, there's much to be done. But we're coming together in the Holy Ghost. Oh, Oh, my God, my God, my God. Oh, God. Mm. Who God. Hallelujah. Oh, God. Mm. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Shadarabasi kerebo so rababasaya. Oh God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. And as we come before the Lord today, we want to come before Him with a clean heart. Hallelujah. We want to come before Him with a right spirit and a clean heart. Amen. Oh, glory. Yes, we do. Father, we just pray your forgiveness of all sin and unrighteousness. We ask you to wash us, cleanse us, purify us before thy presence, oh God. Cleanse our heart and our mind. Creating us a... a, a, a creating us... <clears throat> renew a right spirit in us. Creating us a clean heart. Ah, Robo Bohose. Renew a right spirit, oh God. Creating us a clean heart. Cleanse us before your presence, oh God. We love you today. We love you today. We glorify you. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. I'm just waiting for a few more to come on as we. We just invite and welcome the presence of the Holy Ghost in you see. I just sense that there's a heaviness that have been on some. We just shake it off. Just shake it off. Just shake it off. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. Glory to God. Mm. Woo! Whoa! Mm. Oh, the presence. Your presence, oh God. Oh, your presence, oh God. Oh, we lift up Father today. Father, we recognize who you are. We lift you up today. Oh, we lift you up today, oh God. Whoa, we lift you up today, oh God. Whoa, we lift you up today, oh God. In Canada, I say, you are Ananias. Great and mighty, God, that's who you are. 
You are Jehovah Sikhanu. You are our righteousness, oh God. That's who you are. Oh, we remember you, Jesus. We remember you, Jesus. For you are Emmanuel, Emmanuel. Oh, glory to God. Oh, God. Oh God, glory to God. I thank you, Father, for you are Jehovah Kadesh. Oh, you are our sanctifier. You're Jehovah. You are forever and forever with us, oh God. Thank you for dwelling on the inside of us, oh God. Oh, God, I thank you. Oh, God, I thank you, Jesus. Oh, God, I thank you. You're Jehovah Shalom. You're our peace. That's who you are. You're our peace, oh, God, in the midst of all the chaos and confusion. God, I thank you that you're Jehovah Rapha. You are healing. You are health, your wholeness. Remember, remember Jesus. It's hot. It's hot. Remember, remember Jesus. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Whoa, Rabba, oh, the presence of God is so powerful, amen. Whoa, Rabba, 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 Remember, we remember you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. You are Jehovah, Jehovah Rapha. You are Jehovah Jireh. Glory, 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 glory. That's who you are. That's who you are. Whoa, we love you. We love you. We love you, Lord. Woo. Oh, Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. God, we love you today. You are Jehovah Nisi, oh God. You are Jehovah Jireh, you are Jehovah Nisi, oh God. You are, you are, you are, you are, you are, oh, oh, oh God. Oh, Rabba, Baba, 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 Sikere, Rebo, Hosete. Oh, Rabba, Baba, 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 Sikere, Rebo, Hosaya. Glory. Glory, I am just sharing with some. Roshi Oh, glory, 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 glory. Oh, we love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. Oh, we love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh God, we thank you. Oh God, we thank you. You know, we thank the Lord today. Amen. He is a mighty and an awesome God. He is the commander in chief of all the armies of heaven. Oh, oh. Glory, glory, glory. Lord, we love you. Lord, we love you. Lord, we love you. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. 
Glory, Good afternoon, Amy and Deanna. Oh, glory to God. We recognize who God is. He is God, the have of creator of heaven and earth. He is the only God. He is God. He is God. Ooh. He's Jehovah Rohi. Amen. He's our shepherd. He leads and guides us. He cannot have see on the other day. It's a powerful word today. I want to ask you all to share. Please share. Oh, yada da 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 Glory, glory, yada da da I'm telling you. Oh, God is speaking and he's moving among his people. We just have to open our ears and allow the Holy Spirit to speak. Amen. Oh, God, he da 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 Glory, glory. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. We first we want to thank the Lord this this afternoon. Glory, Karadabahasi. I believe we're going to be coming on every day for as long as the Lord tell us to. Glory, glory, glory. I'm not sure specific what time as of yet, but I believe it's going to be in the morning. Amen. So I want you all to be prepared. But let's just. Let's just thank the Lord, hallelujah, and just come before him and say, Lord, just, uh, Father, forgive us of all sin and unrighteousness. Wash us and purify us. Cleanse us, O oh God. All sin known and unknown, Lord God, forgive us, Father. We apologize. We ask you. We repent before your presence. We must keep ourselves pure and clean before the Lord always. Amen. And God, we just thank you because we do recognize who you are. We recognize that you are the creator of heaven and earth. There is no other God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Mm. Woo. Oh, I have so much in my spirit. I don't know if I'm going to get it all delivered today, but we're going to try. And if not, we're going to finish on tomorrow. Woo. Glory, glory, glory. Wesley, Wesley and I talk about me coming over 15 to 30, 15 to 30 minutes. And I'm like, I'll be trying. <laughs> but God has so much. The Holy Spirit wants to talk to us regularly. And he has so much that he wants to reveal to us. Amen. He wants to reveal to us. Glory to God. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Father God, we just thank you. Let's put our armor on, Lord God. We thank you for the armor that you've given us to clothe in this day. That our Lord's are girded about with truth and we have on the breastplate of righteousness. Our feet are shod in the preparation of the gospel of peace. We have the shield of faith which enables to quench all the fiery dots of the wicked. We yet have on the helmet of salvation. The sword of the spirit is in our hands and engrafted on our heart. And God, we love you. We love you. We love you. We love you, oh God. Ooh, Jesus. Father, we are not about seeking another Hosea. We thank you, Lord, for thou have not given us a spirit of fear, but thou have given us a spirit of power, love, and a sound mind in the name of Jesus. The power of the Holy Ghost dwells on the inside of us. Your love dwells on the inside of us, O oh God. Your power, you have given us power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and all the all the power of the enemy, and by no means shall he harm us. Oh, let's remember that. Thank you, Lord God. And oh God, we love, we love because you first loved us. And we have the mind of Christ. We have soundness of mind today in the name of Jesus. We bind up the enemy that would come to steal, kill, and destroy in our mind. And we say, no! In Jesus' name. We are submitted to the Lord God Almighty. 
We resist the enemy. Ah, that would come to confuse, come to steal, come to rob our thoughts uh, that are of God and replace it with the imagination of the enemy, the blood of Jesus. Oh, we have the mind of Christ today. Share, all of you coming on, please share. Oh, we thank you, Father. Oh, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Amen. That's who we are. Glory, glory, glory. That's who we are. Thank you, Lord. No weapon formed against us shall prosper, and every tongue raised against us. Oh, woo, say, raised against me. Hallelujah. Let's make it personal. Amen. In judgment, we condemn. And we lift up those that would raise a tongue against us. And we say, Father, save them, fill it with the Holy Ghost. We choose to forgive and we resist offense. And God, we thank you that we all belong to you. We're all your children, oh God. And we all make mistakes and we all say things that are out of out the way and wrong. And it's pleasing to you. But God, we ask you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Whoa, God, fill us today. Hallelujah. Fill us today. Oh, glory, God. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. We overcome. Oh, because greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Come on now. There's much to be said about he that is in the world. But I say unto you today, the greater is he that is in me. The Lord Jesus Christ, Holy Ghost. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. First John 4 and 4. According to 1 John 4 and 4. Amen. Whoa, glory to God. Whoa, glory to God. Ooh. Hallelujah. My students are on, and so I know you want to write down the scripture. Well, no weapon formed against us. That's Isaiah, Isaiah 40, 54, 17. All oh, the armor is of Ephesians 6 and 17. Oh, I am established in righteousness and oppression is far from me. Isaiah 54, 14. Glory to God in the name of Jesus. Declare the word of God. This is declare the word of God over your life. Oh, I am, oh, I overcome all because greater is he that is in me than he that is in where I overcome by the blood of the lamb and the words of my testimony. I testify unto you today that I am an overcomer. I am an overcomer by the blood of the lamb and the words of my testimony. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Ooh. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Shh. Hallelujah. And that's just a few. I want to share with you. Glory, glory, glory. Oh, Rabbahasete. I want to share with you the word of the Lord to me this morning. Hallelujah. Earlier today, this morning, this morning, early this morning, I was up around 4, 4.30. And then I was up again at 6.30 and I said, oh, I could have had prayer because I was wide awake. <laughs> Actually, I was up at 4.30 and I didn't go back to sleep. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. Toddy. Hallelujah. 
But I'm going to tell you, this is so powerful. I really want you to get it. It's very, very powerful. And I have a, I'm going to tell you what was going on. So I was laying in the bed and I kind of dozed off after being up at 4.30. I kind of dozed off a little bit. And as I did, hallelujah, glory to God. Y'all share because you want everybody to get this word, amen. As I dozed off a little bit, the enemy tried to enter my imagination. And I started seeing myself sick. See, I had been praying for and and I and reading and uh receiving. I've been receiving. Like I said on Wednesday, been receiving countless um notices of people being sick. And and down with, you know, the virus. I don't even like to say its name. I don't even want to give it that. And uh, so the enemy tried to enter my imagination. And I started seeing myself sick. And I'm like, wait a minute. I'm not sick. The blood of Jesus. I cast down that imagination. And the Holy Spirit said, exactly, Arabella. Tell the intercessors they need to cast down imaginations. Remember the barking dog. And a lot of you on here don't know the story of the barking dog because I shared it last year, probably around February or March, around March. But I'm going to share this with you again. And I want you to listen. I want you to hold fast. Whoa, Second Corinthians 10, okay, 10, three through six. I just, we're going to read that. All right. But I want you to hear this. So the Lord had instructed us. This goes along with what I just said. The Lord had instructed a Wesley and I in February of last year. And never forget it was February 17th. Oh, amen, Lisa. God bless you. Welcome. You need to get this word. So, uh, Lisa, and you need to go back to the beginning, but do it later, okay? So, so what happened is last year, originally, and this goes along with what I just shared about this morning, the enemy trying to, uh, uh, trying to take place or get into my imagination. Hear this. So around February 17th of last year, 2020, the Holy Spirit spoke to me and he said, I want you to pray for the intercessors. I want you to get up every morning at seven o'clock and I want you to pray for the intercessors. This was 2020. So I started getting it up and he said, seven at seven, seven days for at 7 a.m. So I started getting up, we, Wesley and I, and we did that for seven days. And then the Lord, I shared a testimony of how God would, would heal my son, grandson during communion. And the Lord said, go 30 days because it was 30 days that I spent with him in communion. And then, and then, uh, and then we continued. But during that time, I was getting a shower, getting ready to come on live. And the Holy Spirit showed up with, showed up in the, in, it went, showed up <laughs> when I was getting a shower and he began to speak to me and I'm telling you it was God I entered into the shower and I didn't remember anything I don't I don't remember getting a shower or anything else when I came to myself I was out of the shower getting dressed I was almost dressed the Holy Spirit took me into a vision now this is what you need to hear you need to hear it all <laughs> but the Holy Spirit took me into a vision. I used to work in an emergency room. Oh, 20 some years ago. And if you know, for me with the emergency room, they have these big, big, tall glass doors where they bring patients in. And so the, the Holy, now I'm in the vision. So all of a sudden I see these big door. I'm in the emergency room and I see these big doors open. 
Yes. Wesley is going to read Psalms 91 when we're done. And so I see these big doors open. Okay. Uh, and now I want you to I want you to see this. Follow me. We're in the emergency room. I'm standing off to the side. So these big doors open. And all of a sudden, this little barking dog, about this dog, little wee thing. He looked all um, tattered and torn. He just looked, he looked sickly. And he could barely bark. Woo, woo, could barely bark. And he was coming into, the doors open, and he was coming in. And he was, woo, woo, woo. and all of a sudden, I looked this way. All of the emergency room staff and all of the people in the emergency room was like this. <gasps> they was just in this paralytic fear. Had gripped them. Totally gripped them. And they were standing there. And I looked. Now I'm in the vision. This is the Lord speaking. Holy Spirit was showing me this. I looked at the dog. And I said, well, it's just a little barking dog. And I heard, cast down all imaginations. I looked at the dog. He started getting a little bigger. I looked over at the people and they were still shaking. And the Holy Spirit said, cast down all imaginations. I looked over at the people and I said, it's just a little barking dog. What? There's, it's just a dog. It's just a little dog. And I looked back at the dog. He had started getting a little bigger. And the Holy Spirit said, Arabella, cast down all imaginations. I looked at the people and I said, it's just a little dog. It's just a dog. And I think three times and the third time, the Lord said, I said, oh, cast down all imaginations. Yes. He said, exactly, Arabella. Tell the intercessors to cast down all imaginations and it was in re it was in relation to the virus and I came on and then the dog had gotten bigger and it was rough rough you know and they were still shaking in fear and I said hey listen it's just a, a barking dog if you throw a sheet over his head he'll get confused and he won't be able to find you. He won't be able to find you. Woo! And then I was out of the, the vision. And I was getting dressed. And I'm like, whoa, God. Yes, Lord, I heard you. So I came on and I shared it. I think it was during March of 2020. It's a barking, a little barking dog. But listen, the barking dog has now gotten, gotten bigger. Why did the barking dog get bigger? Because they did not cast down imaginations. Listen, listen, I'm going to read the word now. Wesley, give me your phone. Let me read from your phone. <clears throat> it's 2 Corinthians 10 and 3. 2 Corinthians 10 and 3. The barking dog got bigger and bigger because, and the Lord told me, he said they traded their faith for fear. First off, they had their eyes on it and was memorized by it. The barking dog got bigger and bigger the more you kept your eyes on it. The more you allow, you, you will stay in the imagination. You allow the imagination to take hold to your mind. And then what happens? It becomes real. There's, and your faith then is placed in that imagination. And whatever you have faith in will come to pass. You believe it to do so. It's scriptural. If you believe, And doubt not in your heart. You shall receive what you believe. What? Amen. Y'all better hear. 2 Corinthians 
And this literally is titled, 2 Corinthians 10 is literally titled, Spiritual Warfare. 2 Corinthians 10, 3. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war according to the flesh. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war according to the flesh. This is Paul talking. Four. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty in God to the pulling down of strongholds. The imagination, your imagination is a, can be a stronghold. Casting down every imagination. King James says imagination. New King James says arguments. And every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. Bringing every thought. Every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. Jesus obeyed to the cross. He took it all and he placed it on the cross to the obedience of Christ and being ready to punish all disobedience. Oh, the Lord brought that out this to me this today. Being ready to punish all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. This word says cast down. Casting down. All imaginations, casting down, cast it down, cast it down. How do you cast it down? In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I cast down all imaginations and all evil thoughts that do not come from God. Bringing every thought into captivity, and I bring every thought that is not from God into captivity to the obedience of Christ. I declare and decree that fear does not come from God. <clears throat> I am submitted to the Lord God Almighty. I resist the spirit of fear. I resist every evil thought. You must flee. You hear Wesley? I resist every evil thought. And, and you must flee by the blood and the authority of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Go from me. Go from me. Flee from me now. I command you to come out of my mind. Come out of my imagination. You flee from my mind. You flee from my imagination. I cast you down in Jesus' name. Thought that exalts itself against Christ. Thank you, Lord. Now you're free from it. And so we're going to replace it. Whoa, God. Listen. So then the Lord began to speak to me. As Wesley, I shared this with Wesley. Because a, especially women, a woman's imagination can get so, you can, a woman's imagination can, can paint a whole picture. And it's a total lie and, and no truth in it. But if you yield your imagination to the enemy, he will take hold to it and use it. For himself. And he will overcome you based on your imagination. So what do we have to do? Oh my goodness. Oh, I just hear the word. What is faith? What is faith? Faith is the substance of things. Not seen, but the evidence. Oh, let me find it. So I can give it to you just right. Um, um, Hebrews 11. Oh God. Hebrews 11. I thought I just had it. Oh, Jesus. Right here. Hebrews 11. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. For by the for by it. The elders obtain good a good testimony. Now faith, God bless you, Deborah. 
Now faith is the evidence. It's the substance. It's the substance. It's something in your hand. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. For by it, by faith, the elders obtain a good, a good testimony. Put your faith in God and not in the enemy. Put your faith in what God has said and who he has said he is. Oh, my God, my God. Upon Jesus' back, every stripe. Get me that scripture, honey. Show that I say the stripes upon. We're well, healed okay. by the stripes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Put your faith in God. It is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. You may listen. What you see and what you hear is, you know, because I was, I'm getting all these reports about people being sick, requesting, actually requesting prayer. Family members, households, and all this kind of thing. So, so the enemy wants to bring fear and say, oh, you better not do this. You better not do that. Oh, you're going to get sick. You see this? You see this? And that's what the enemy will do in your imagination. The words say, Paul said to, it, to the Corinthians, now I, Paul, myself, am pleading with you by the meekness and gentleness of Christ, who in presence am lowly among you, but be absent and bold towards you. But I beg you that when I am present, I may not be bold with that confidence by which I intended to be bold against some. Paul was worded just like me. <laughs> Who think of us as if we walked according to the flesh? But he said, casting, listen, he says, for though we walk after the flesh, walk in the flesh, we do not war according to the flesh. The enemy wants to use your flesh against you. He wants to use your imagination against you. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty in God for pulling down strongholds, casting down arguments, casting down all imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself to the, against the knowledge of God, bringing every thought into captivity, into captivity to the obedience of Christ. And being ready to punish all disobedience when all obedience is fulfilled. Listen, don't allow the enemy to use your imagination. Y'all heard what I said. Every time they just was paralyzed. Because they immediately seen this little weakly, straggly, barking dog. Which was when COVID first showed up. That's all it was. And but then they and it grew and it grew and now it's trying to grow some more, right? Oh, I didn't mean to call its name. The old stinking virus. <laughs> That's what I call it. But listen, Isaiah fifty-three five. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And by his stripes we are, we are healed. The word tells us that father sent his son. The father sent his son that to heal us. Exactly, Deborah. The spirit of fear and deception. Oh, and deception. Now the Lord talked to me about deception on yesterday. Woke me up with a, with a, y'all let me tell you. God's speaking if you're listening. The Holy Spirit's always talking. 
Upon Jesus' back, upon him, his stripes, by his stripes, Jesus, we are healed. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? We're healed. We're healed. And the enemy has no safety unless we give it to him. Glory. Listen, the, the, yesterday, the Lord woke me up with another, uh, yesterday, I had a, <laughs> when I wake up is when he ministers and speaks to me. Just as I'm waking up, I call it a dream vision. And what I seen was I seen, um, what I seen was a mask. Not this kind of mask, but a full mask, the ones that you see in horror movies. I want y'all to stick with me now. Stay with me. And it was like on a canvas, you know, a picture canvas. But but behind the mask was white paintbrush streaks. And then there was red on top of that white. And then the mask was on top of it. And it appeared to be the blood of Jesus. It was wet. The red was wet. And the mask sat on top of that. And I said, Holy Spirit, what is this? He said, deception. He said, Arabella, it's the spirit behind it. It's the spirit behind it. It's the spirit behind the mask. Oh, my God. Woo! It's a spirit, the spirit behind the mask. What is the spirit behind the mask? To silence you, to depress you, to take you into an oppression, to, to uh, bring more confinement, to quiet you, to silence your voice, to take away your smile. I walk in stores, those that I have to wear a mask in, and I pull my mask down and I smile. <laughs> Amen. 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 Oh, glory to God. Don't allow the enemy to grab hold to your imagination and take you into that place of fear and deception. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus has did it. The blood of Jesus has did it. Now listen, I want to I want to share with you. This is what the Lord was so powerful what God brought forth even again this morning. As Wesley and I was talking about this, the Holy Spirit reminded me. Now you I want y'all to catch this. Woo! What do we do? What is the weapon of warfare to deal with this? What is the weapon of warfare to deal with this? Y'all listen. Even when you go in places that require a mask, I want you to hear what God say and listen to this now. This is 2 Chronicles. Come on with me. Woo! da 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 Second Chronicles. Second Chronicles 20. And we're going to read a few scriptures in here. Second Chronicles 20. Now listen. If you know the story of Second Chronicles 20, it has to do with Jehoshaphat. It has to do with Jehoshaphat. And what happened is, I don't want to go into the full story, but Jehoshaphat, Jehoshaphat had five armies that was coming against him. So in the process of that, verse 3, it says Jehoshaphat was a five armies. Now these armies, let's say these armies are the, uh, the virus. Now back, back, back last year 
We didn't see all that, but now it's done got, it, it ain't one, two, three, four, now it's five. But listen, so, cause, cause, you know, according to them, we're on what, number three or number four? You know what I'm saying? Of this, this virus thing or whatever. Jehoshaphat was frightened and prayed to the Lord for guidance. Y'all share, share. Jehoshaphat was frightened and prayed to the Lord for guidance. Then he gave orders for a fast to be observed throughout the country. They were coming against Judah. From every city of Judah, people hurried to Jerusalem to ask the Lord for guidance. And they and the people of Jerusalem gathered in the new court. No. The devil is a liar. Of the temple, King Jehoshaphat went and stood before them and prayed aloud. Oh, Lord God uh, of our ancestors, you rule in heaven over all the nations of the world. That's who God is. Okay. You rule. You rule in heaven over all the nations of the world. You are powerful and mighty and no one can oppose you. That's who God is. That's the God we serve, the creator of heaven and earth. He rules. His name, uh, Jehovah Sabaoth. He is the commander in chief of all the armies. Ah! Roshi Kanarabasanda Yeleleose. Of all, he is commander in chief of all. All the armies. All the armies of heaven. Woo, he is the Lord of hosts. He is the Lord of armies. Whoa, glory to God. The Lord of hosts, of the host of heaven, will always fulfill his purposes, even when the host of his earthly people fail. What? Even when the the uh, um, even when, <laughs> whoo, God, what? Even when we fail, he is still the commander in chief of all the armies of heaven. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. And look, his name. <laughs> I love it. I love it when God do it just like this. He is the Lord of the host of heaven will always fulfill his purposes even when the host of his earthly people fail. Even when his earthly people fail. Oh my God, thank you Jesus. Oh my God, thank you Jesus. That's who he is, y'all. Remember who he is. And when you remember who he is, you can you can cast down out, you can put that evil imagination under your feet. No, in Jesus' name. But listen, I, I just feel like we're gonna get more when we read this whole. I, I wasn't gonna read the whole thing, but I believe we're gonna get more. Y'all come on, stay with me. And then it says, you are our God. When your people Israel moved into this land, you drove out the people who were living here and gave the land to the descendants of Abraham. We are the descendants of Abraham. Your friend to be uh, there, theirs forever. They have lived here and have built a temple to honor you, knowing that if any disaster struck them to punish them, a war, an epidemic, that's what the words say, a war, an epidemic, or a famine, then they could come and stand in front of this temple where you are worshipped. Oh, come on. Oh, what? 
I'm going to give y'all the strategy. Now we already know the word of God say, cast it down. We got that. We already know the word of God say, submit yourself to the Lord and the enemy must flee. Come on. Shut up. I seek head of the whole sire. Glory to God. I need to take an offering. My God, this is good. Listen. So then he says, <laughs> oh, God's word is good. God's word is good. But the Lord spoke to me and gave me this this morning. After I said, what? what? Wesley and I was talking. Oh, we were talking about the the, the vain imagination and how the enemy come against you, your imagination. And I say, what? Wait a minute. Come on. And the Lord reminded me of Jehoshaphat. And then it says, they could pray to you in their trouble and you would hear from and rescue them. You see? I love it. Don't you love it? Now the people of Ammon, Moab, and Edom have attacked us. They're coming. They ain't got there, but they're coming. When our ancestors came out of Egypt, you did not allow them to enter. Now this is, this is King Jehoshaphat praying. You did not allow them and did not destroy them. This is how they repay us. They come to drive us out in the land that you gave us. You are, you are our God. Punish them. For we are helpless in the face of this large army that is attacking us. We do not know what to do. But we look to you for help. Oh, God is our helper. We look to him. Amen. Glow, come on now. This here, this here virus, it, it, you know, is it's trying to put us in that place. Oh my God, my God. Listen in, in verse 14. Ha yada for 13. All the men of Judah and their wives and children are standing there at the temple. The Spirit of the Lord came. The Spirit of the Lord came upon a Levite who was present in the crowd. His name was Jehaziel, son of Zechariah. He was a member of the clan of Asaph and was descended from Asaph through that name, that name, and that name. Jehaziel uh, said, this is what you want to hear. He said, your majesty and all you people of Judah and Jerusalem, the Lord says that you must not be discouraged. And uh, you must not be discouraged. Or afraid to face this large army. Don't fear that barking dog. Don't fear that barking dog. I'm going to tell you what the sheep represents in a minute. Don't fear that barking dog. Oh, rababa sheep. Oh, rababa sheep. The battle is the Lord's. How many times we say that? The battle, the, the battle depends on God, not on you. The battle is the Lord's. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yes, your battle. He said, attack them tomorrow as they come up and pass at Zis. You will meet them at the end of the valley that leads to the wild country near uh, Jerel. You will not have to fight this battle. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? <laughs> this is so good. This is so good. This is so good, y'all. I had read three scriptures out of this chapter. I hadn't read the whole chapter. I read it a long time ago. I got it all marked up. I couldn't hardly read it in my Bible. But listen to this. Uh, uh, you will not have to fight this battle. Because the battle is the Lord. Just take up your position and wait. You will see the Lord give you victory. What is your position? Your position is to stand on the word of God. 
that says I cast down all imagination that would exalt except against the knowledge of God. I take captive my mind, my thoughts. They belong unto, they belong unto God. Oh, I resist you, devil. I am submitted unto the Lord God Almighty. I resist you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I resist you. And you must go from me. What is what what is your what position do you set? Jesus came to heal us. Save and deliver us. And he obeyed to the cross. Yes, Lord. Yes, he did. I didn't make it up, it's in the world. Glory to God. People of Judah and Jerusalem, do not hesitate or be afraid. Go out to battle and the Lord will be with you. Don't stay in your house. Don't, I, you know what? I can't tell you what to do. But I'm just saying, don't be afraid. How about I say that? Don't be afraid. Don't be deceived. The blood of Jesus covers your mind. The blood of Jesus sets you free. Glory, glory, glory. King Jehoshaphat bowed low. And his face touching the ground. And all the people bowed with him. And worshiped the Lord. Come on, y'all going to get it in a minute. The members of the Levite clan. The members of the Levite clan of Kohath and Korah stood up and with a loud shout praise the Lord, the God of Israel. <laughs> praise the Lord, the God of Israel. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Early the next morning, the people went out to the wild country near Tekoa. As they were starting out, Jehoshaphat addressed them with, his, with these words. People of Judah and Jerusalem, put your trust in the Lord, your God, and you will stand firm. Be not removed. Woo! Be unremoved for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Glory. Oh, I feel the presence of God. I just believe what his prophets tell you and you will succeed. After consulting with the people, the king ordered some musicians. Y'all going to hear what the sheet is all about. Ah! Whoa! He ordered some musicians to put on the robes. And they wore on sacred occasions. That they wore on sacred. To put on the robes that they wore on sacred occasions. Yes. And to march ahead of the army singing. Oh my God. Thank you, Lord. Here's my robe, y'all. Oh, glory to God. So they put on the, the sacred robe. Yes. They put on the sacred robe. Now I just I just pulled this out of my bag and put that back there. They have it in the background. Oh, but they put on the sacred robe. Oh, Rabbi, my talit. They put on the sacred robe that they wore. They put on the robes that they wore on sacred occasions, uh, and to march ahead of the army singing. Praise the Lord. His love is eternal. What? Oh my God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. His love is eternal. <laughs> Glory to your name. Praise, praise the Lord. His love is eternal. Don't y'all love it? Don't y'all love him? Oh my goodness, honey, this is the wrong version. I thought so. <laughs> I thought so because it didn't sound like what I normally do. No, you didn't change it. Yeah. Praise the Lord. 
See, see, this is because I was wondering. It sounded a little different than what I was used to. It was a different version. But it says, believe in the Lord God. It doesn't matter. It still says the same. Believe in the Lord God, your God. And you shall be established. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Believe in the Lord your God and you shall be established. Believe in the Lord your God and you shall be established. Believe his prophets and you shall prosper. And when he had consulted with the, the people, he appointed those who should sing to the Lord. That, that, that other version was good too. And who should... And who should praise the beauty of holiness as they went out before the army uh, uh, and were saying to sing unto the Lord. Praise the Lord for his mercy endures forever. That's what I was looking for. For his mercy endures forever. Now listen. Hallelujah. Listen at this. He sent them out singing. Did y'all hear that? He said that he called the musicians. So they rose early in the morning and went unto the wilderness of Tekoa. And as they went out, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, O Judah and you inhabitants of Jerusalem. Believe in the Lord your God. And you shall be established. Believe his prophets, and you shall be you shall prosper. And you he and who and when he had consulted the people, he sent the praisers out, y'all. Now listen what happened after he sent the praisers out. Now when they began to sing and to praise, the Lord sent ambushes against the people. Of Ammon, Moab, and Matsir, who had come against Judah, and they were defeated. Oh, that's right. It was three, three tribes. I mean, three, yeah, three, three nations. And they was defeated. You know what? There was three nations. Wait a minute now. How many we got? What, what we got? We got this one, this one, and this one for the United States. You hear what I'm saying? There was three nations. For the people of Ammon, the Moab, and Moab stood up against the inhabitants of Masir, the uh, and to utterly kill and destroy them. They ambushed themselves. What happened? See, I asked the Lord, what happened? They defeated the armies, ambushing the Lord sent the praisers out. Praise and worship. Put on brought, your garment. Brought confusion to the enemy next and time. brought confusion and they turned on the they didn't even know it. to the enemy and they ambushed themselves and didn't even know it. They ambushed themselves and didn't mm -hmm. even know it. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Oh my God. Who had come? Matsir, okay, yeah. Let me read verse 22 again, because it's just good. Now, when they began to sing and to praise, when that devil come, that spirit of imagination, fear, and deception come against your mind, begin to praise. Begin to sing. Oh, the devil be like, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm trying to bring fear here. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm trying to get them upset. I'm trying to get them scared. Wait a minute, they singing. They praising the Lord. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm telling you. I, when I was a little girl, I took on a spirit of fear. From watching horror movies and craziness on TV. I was a little girl. So then I got saved at 16. And that spirit, didn't, that, it was still there. I still had that spirit because I was saved. I was saved in the Pentecostal church, but I was in I was raised in the Baptist church, and I didn't know. And the Pentecostal church didn't tell me and teach me no different. It's a lot of folks that's sitting up in the house of God that ain't been delivered from those kind of things. Y'all know, but I'm gonna tell you what I did as I grew in the Lord. 
As I grew in the light, and I always had to have a light on in my room because I my because the enemy had gripped my imagination from watching horror movies and different things. And so I was if I laid if I just laid in the bed in my room, I see all kinds of figures on the walls, on the closet doors, all kind of foolishness. Or when I was walking through the house or at work or whatever, high up be ever, I felt like something was following me. The devil is a liar. That's a spirit of fear, y'all. But he grips you. See, what happened is he gripped my imagination. Then I, it was almost like I felt the, the presence because I believed. So then, as I grew in the Lord and in the word, the word, the word, y'all heard me? As I grew in the Lord and I began to understand and know my authority, and I learned this word right here. <laughs> Let me tell you what happened. And I used to, I came out of high school <clears throat> working in the hospital because I love that, 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 that field, the medical field. And I, I came out working in the hospital, and, but I worked the third shift. And I was working in the laboratory. It was a big place. So I had to, I had to figure out what to do. <laughs> You know, but that was a big place. But then I went to working in the um, cardiology department. I was an echo, uh, not echo, but uh, EKG tech. And so, but I worked third shift. And in a hospital on the third shift, they turned the lights down in the halls. And, you know, they turned the lights down. But I was in a room. The I was in the, it was actually a big area. But I was shut up in this one little room where the EKG machines was until I got a call and I had to go out on the floor or until I had to go out around 5 a.m. in the morning to do EKGs because if I shut up in this little room, then I could see what was going on. But that was that spirit of fear. That's the truth. So I just got fed up with it. I was done. And I, and I remembered the word. So I went out. I was going to do 5 a.m. EKGs and it was dark down the hallways and stuff, you know, got off the elevator and I just felt this stinking presence of fear following me. I said, you know, I'm tired of this. I turned around. Now, what, mind you, it wasn't nothing there. It was the imagination that believed and then you could feel like something was there. I'm just trying. Y'all know I'm telling the truth because I ain't the only one. I turned around to that thing and I said, fear, you want to hang out with me? Then we're going to praise the Lord. I showed him. I said, we're going to praise the Lord. And I, I turned back around and I kept on going. I started praising the Lord and worshiping God and praising God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I started singing some song. It left. It left, y'all. Y'all hear me? It left. Ain't been back. And when it tried to come back, I said, oh, really? Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, I praise you, Lord. I praise you, God. Woo! Amen. Because he always, the enemy always come back to see if he can find, a, if he can find that same resting place. Because he roams about as a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. He roams about. Y'all hear me? And so if he find a resting place, he, he finds a place to rest where he can devour. A place to enter so he can devour, devour that place. The word says fear is tormenting. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't come in agreement. You, we, listen, we're living for God. We ain't supposed to be in agreement with the spirit of fear. We ain't supposed to be in agreement with the world. Yo. Amb Enemy ambush himself. I'm telling you. The spirit of fear, deception, all of it's from the enemy. Praise him. Praise him. When I was talking to the Lord, it was just at the beginning of this year, last year, I think it was. I said, Lord, Holy Spirit, what is the strategy to this whole thing? 
He says, don't, don't even be concerned, Arabella. The enemy don't know how. They don't know how to be. They, it looks like they're in agreement. But at the end of the day, they're not. Because he, he can't. There is no real unity. You see, it's everything, everything about the enemy is false. There is no real unity among the enemy. And his little clan. <laughs> Y'all hear what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, they'll turn on each other because that's who they, that's, that's, that's what's in them. At the end of the day, the spirit, and it's a spirit, it's not a person. Shakarabahaya. But that spirit would cause the persons to turn on one another. That's what happened here. They turned and ambushed each other. Ambushed each other. Yes, they did. Oh my God. Now when they began to sing and to praise, the Lord set ambushes against the people of Ammon, Moab, and Mount Seir, who had come against Judah, and they were defeated. For the people of Ammon and Moab stood up against the inhabitants of Mount Seir to utterly kill and destroy them. And when they had made an end of the inhabitants of, of Seir, they helped to destroy one another. They helped. <laughs> they helped to destroy one another. That, that sheet, when the Lord told me to tell him, throw a sheet over his head. And, and, and he'll get confused and, and, and walk, can't find you. The sheet is praise. The sheet is worship. The sheet is praise. It's cause, it causes darkness in the enemy's camp. They can't, and confusion. And they can't find you. They can't see you. They can't get to you. Mm -hmm. Ah! Woo! Glory. Now let's pray. I'm going to pray for you and then Wesley's going to come read that first song. Wesley, you want to sit here? Yeah. Lord, we thank you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We thank you for who you are and for what you've done, oh God. Bless your name, Jesus. Oh God. We thank you for this word today, oh God. We thank you for, for, for giving us clarity. We thank you for exposing the enemy yes. and the devices, for we are not ignorant of the devices, yes, of you. the schemes of the enemy. Yes, Lord. God, we thank you for keeping and opening our eyes. We thank you for we are not, we do not have a spirit of fear. We do not have a spirit of fear, oh God. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. But we have a spirit of power, love, and a sound mind. We thank you, Lord, that you have revealed to us that the sheep over the barking dog mm -hmm. is praise, worship, yes. confuses. It, it, the, 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 it brings darkness into the enemy's camp. It brings confusion into the enemy's camp. And he can't see us. Right. Because the blood of Jesus ah, uh, covers us. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, it dispels all darkness. It dispels all deception. The blood of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you for covering us, oh God. Thank you for your word, oh God. Thank you. Thank you. I believe you need to have communion. I believe we need this all. It's right there. Okay. okay. We're going to have communion when Wesley gets to reading the 91st Psalms. Whoa. Y'all, we're going to have communion.
So get your elements. Get your elements. Okay. I believe I want to do um, elderberry. Okay. Can you do some elderberry real quick? We're going to do it with our elderberry syrup. It's, it's, it's a fruit of the vine. Amen. And that's what Jesus used. He used the fruit of the vine. <laughs> Woo! He used the fruit of the vine. Yes, he did. We're going to use the fruit of the vine. We're going to use our elderberry syrup and crackers. And I, uh, actually, some crackers from, I believe they're from Israel. Somebody brought them for us. Oh, God, I thank you right now. I thank you for setting us free, oh, God. I thank you for setting us free, oh, God. I thank you, Lord God, that we don't carry, we do not have vain. We do not have imaginations, evil imaginations. We do not allow the enemy to take captive of our imagination, but we cast it down, Father. I thank you right now for the blood of Jesus. He got out of our shake, out of our higher. Glory, glory, glory. We're going to take communion because and I encourage you all to take communion every day. Wesley's going to read the 91st Psalms and then we're going to take communion. And I encourage you to do that every single day. We're going to remember who Jesus is. We're going to remember we're going to remember who Jesus is. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Wesley is finna take, um, Wesley is finna read, um, He, he's going to read the 91st Psalms. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hello. Hallelujah. Um, we did 91st Psalm. We read it every day when the COVID-19 broke out. When it first came out. When it came out in 2020. How many days did we get up every morning and read it? Was it was 55 days. And we, we got up we, at six. From the time we started to, because yeah. we went all the way to, we didn't just go 30 days. Right. We went past Passover and right. then we went all the way to um, uh, Pentecost because that's what the Lord said. And we declared it over all of our intercessors yes. and everybody that uh, joined us on Facebook Live. And I Amen. believe it, it had an effect because that's it built faith. Effect. Psalms 91, it, what it does is it, it gets rid of fear. Uh, and it, oh, it rabbi, builds rabbi, faith. Rabbi, Psalm 91 actually builds faith and takes away fear. Hallelujah. And so this was, a, those 55 days was powerful. Uh, I mean, that was a powerful shield against the enemy during that time. Now we have another strain of the COVID uh, virus, uh, which is, is, I think is even more powerful, right, than the one before. Supposed to be. And so now the Lord has been saying, get back on you know, Facebook. And start declaring it again. Hallelujah. Start declaring it again. And so that's what I'm going to do. Starting today. And I don't know how many days we're going to be doing this. Uh, I don't either. But until the Lord says. Until the Lord says. Says it's, you know. The, we're done. We're done. <laughs> Amen. So I'm reading today from the Good News Bible. I read it this morning. I read it every day. Every morning during my. I get up in the morning and uh, pray in the spirit uh, for an hour and uh, declare the word. And read Psalms 91. I usually close out with Psalms 91 just for myself. Uh, but I do, I, I do ask the Lord to cover our immediate families or our extended families. Uh, and also uh, to uh, cover our intercessors. So here we go. Uh, God, our protector. Psalms 91 from the Good News Bible. Whoever goes to the Lord for safety. Whoever maintain, remains. Whoever remains under the protection of of the Almighty, can say to him, you are my defender and protector. 
Just say that to the Lord. Just, just speak it to him. Say, Lord, you are my defender and protector today. You are my God. And in you, I trust. Today, I trust in you. I will not be afraid because you, Lord, will keep me safe from all the hidden dangers that I will face but today and from all the deadly diseases and viruses that I will face today. He will cover you with his wings. It says, it doesn't say he might cover you or perhaps from time to time he will cover you. See, whenever someone gets the COVID, uh, that devil tries to speak and say, well, see, it doesn't work, you know. But let every man, you know what the Bible says? Let every man be a liar. Let God be true. Let God be true. And every man a liar. Hallelujah. The devil is a liar. Yes, he is. He will keep you safe from all dangers, hidden dangers. You can't see the virus and will, will keep you from all deadly diseases. He will cover you with his wings. You will be safe in his care. His faithfulness will protect and defend you. You need not fear. What did Arabella preach on? Not being afraid. How many times in the Bible does the Lord say, be not afraid, be not, be afraid. not afraid, be not afraid. Hallelujah. Amen. Trust in me. Lean not into your own understanding. Hallelujah. Be not afraid, for I am with you. The Lord says, I am with you. And fear not. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not afraid. So don't be afraid of sudden attacks by the enemy during that. You're going to get attacked. I mean, that's just, that's a given. If you're serving God in a powerful way, and our, like our intercessors are bringing down, hallelujah, the strongholds, the princes of the air, the principalities in your region, in your territory. I mean, the devil's just not going to sit back, you know. He's going to do everything to stop you. And the, one of the tools he uses is fear. So don't be afraid of the tax during the day or the plagues that strike in the dark. Hallelujah. Or the evils that kill in daylight. A thousand may fall dead beside you. <laughs> But you will not be harmed, just like Jehoshaphat, right? Exactly. And the armies, the three kings that came, thousands and thousands of soldiers came against him. It don't matter if 10,000, I'm sure they had more than 10,000. Jehoshaphat had more than 10,000 yes. against him. But you will not be harmed. You will look and see how the wicked are punished. You have made the Lord your defender, the Most High, your protector and so no disaster will strike you that's just what the bible says no disaster will strike you no violence will come near your home god will put his angels in charge of you give you to angels protect charge. you wherever you go wherever you go they will hold you up with their hands to keep you from hurting your feet on stones you will trample down lions and snakes Fierce lions and poisonous snakes you will trample. God says, I will save those who love me. And I will protect those who acknowledge me as their Lord. When they call on me, I will answer them. When they are in trouble, I will be with them. The Lord is a very present help in time of trouble, isn't he? I will rescue them and honor them. I will reward them with long life, I will save them. Stand still and see the salvation, salvation of your God. Of, oh my God. Don't be afraid, fear not, hallelujah. For the Lord is with you. Hallelujah. He is your shield. Hallelujah. He is your buckler. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Trust in him. Do not be afraid, hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For Psalms 91, Lord. It's so comforting, Lord. Glory, God. It just removes all fear, Lord God. I don't care if it's a thousand or ten thousand darts of hell or arrows that's pointed that's shot at us, Lord. I don't care how many times the enemy will strike. 
we know this, and this we know, and we're confident, Lord God, yes. that you are with us, yes. even unto the end, Lord God. Yes. You never leave us, you never, never. Lord God, abandon us, Lord God. Never, never. But never. you are always with us, Lord Jesus. Your Holy Spirit walks with us as a companion, Lord, Ooh. as our paraclete, Lord, the one that walks beside, the one who comforts, hallelujah, the one, hallelujah, who loves with an everlasting love, hallelujah. God loves you. Intercessors, those who are watching Facebook Live, God loves you so much. You cannot even grasp the human mind, hallelujah, cannot grasp the love of Christ, hallelujah. He loves you so much. He sends angels, guardian angels, to watch over you every hour, every minute of the day. My God. Watching your angels, watching over you Ooh. all of the time. All of, you're not alone. You're not exposed to the enemy. He has that protective shield over you. So praise him, as Arabelle said. Worship him, hallelujah. Sing in the spirit, hallelujah. There's power in singing in the spirit. Pray without ceasing, hallelujah. Come against those spirits, hallelujah, that will try to attack. And send those devils, those demons, back from to the pit from where they have. You have authority over those snakes, over uh, the dragons, over the serpents, hallelujah, over the young lion, all of those things that seems overwhelming. Just remember, God is greater. Arabella? God, God is, greater. is greater. He's greater. I got on my shirt. God, God is, is greater. greater. Hallelujah. So he don't is. give the enemy more recognition than what he is. He is nothing. I saw one person put it, Arabella, when I was going through um, Bible college. They said that he, the enemy can roar and try to scare you, but... He has no teeth. Ah! <laughs> he has no claws. Hallelujah. He can't hurt you. Hallelujah. <laughs> he can pretend. Oh my goodness. He can walk around like a <laughs> like a, a, a roaring lion. Oh and thinks, my goodness. Thinks he has power and think and tries to convince and deceive you, know you that he has big claws, hallelujah, and big uh, you know, fangs and teeth. But there's none there. <laughs> he has been defanged because when Jesus went into the earth, hallelujah, he took, he defanged, hallelujah, the lion. <laughs> and the lion has no more power. And he declawed and defanged, hallelujah, the one that looks like he's overwhelming, but he's not overwhelming if we put our trust in him, hallelujah. Praise God. You know, we you... throw that sheet over that stinking barking dog. When you said that, I just had this vision of a barking dog, ferocious barking dog with no teeth. With no teeth. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Right. You know, we're so thankful today because, hallelujah. Hey, can I say something real quick? Absolutely. I said, like, you know, a lot of people uh, are afraid of, of oh uh, my li goodness. lizards or chameleons. Yeah. They're afraid. But I always tell people, they don't have any teeth. Don't be afraid. Oh! <laughs> of lizards because they don't have any teeth. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh Lord have us. <laughs> and we rejoice oh, because God. our name is written in the Lamb's yes. Book of Life. Yes. Amen. Because we have opportunity. Mm -hmm. You know, and I, I, I just want to encourage some of you. Um I want to encourage some of you. That, you know, because we received the word today and it was powerful and we're very thankful and we have been so blessed by God just coming, the Holy Spirit coming and ministering and spending time with us. And we're going to take communion. So make sure you have your, all of you have the body and the blood. That's what I call Amen. it. And, um, um, but you know, I want to encourage some of you to, to minister to those people that don't know the Lord. You know, this is our this is yeah. our opportunity, it's our finest hour, as they would call it, for harvest. Amen. Amen. Minister to those that don't know the Lord and don't they they just can't get a grip and they're walking around and they're in serious fear. Yeah. It's real serious right. for yeah. them. Yeah. You know, and and, and minister to them. Minister yeah. to them. Yeah. You know, we you know, show them the love of God. Show them how powerful the Lord is. Teach them the word. Mm -hmm. Amen. Give them the Amen. word. 
Amen. Hallelujah. Praise Amen. God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, glory to God. Honey, you do the bread. You yes. Do the Lord. body. The bread. Hallelujah. That represents the body of our Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. He said, if you don't eat of my body, drink of my blood, you have no part. Because this wafer, this represents... The body, you see the, the different uh, bruises on this yes, bread? It's the, yes, You see that? That represents bruises yes. that was placed on Jesus. He on was bruised Jesus. for he us. He was bruised. He was bruised for us. Oh, glory. And um, they said that they beat him so severely that the Roman soldier with that cat of nine tails had, in the leather was woven glass, uh, stones, and all kind of um, bone fragments, all kind of stuff uh, was was woven into the the cat of nine tails. And so it had nine nine strings of this wheel, hallelujah, that was raked across. And you know he did it for us. The back of Jesus. He did it for us. And they said his back was cut to ribbons. He did it for us. Yeah, he did it for us. And it said that every, every strike, strike represented a disease. Represented right. a disease, right. a sickness, an ailment, right. a, yeah. a infirmity. Right, he was bruised Jesus. for irony. He was, he was beaten, hallelujah. And his body was broken just like this by side. It's a symbol of God's Glory son, God. Jesus, being broken. Let's just go ahead and break the bread because... Yes. His body was broken. There, there was no broken bones or anything, but his flesh was torn. His flesh was torn. Uh, and then, so there's no reason, hallelujah, for us, hallelujah, to become afraid Ooh. of diseases. It says in the Bible that God will put none of these diseases that he put on the Egyptians. Amen. So believe that when you take believe this that. element, this, this bread, which represents the body of Jesus. Believe with us now that if you have an infirmity, if you have a disease, if you have a disorder in your body, hallelujah. Glory. Or in your mind, or in your emotions, you may have gone through some trauma, you may have experienced the death of a loved one, uh, you may have had a wayward child, hallelujah. My God. Uh, you may be heartbroken over something. My God, God heals the mind and emotions, Ooh, he heals yes, he us which is a part of our, our soul, is part of our flesh, our body, that affects our Glory. body. And a lot of people are sick because of uh, pain uh, from grief. And that their body becomes sick because of, of pain from grief. They carry grief, they don't release it. So release the grief, release that grief now, release the pain. If there's any... Uh, Jesus. Um, yeah, it also, if there's anything, uh, bitterness that's in you, uh, there's any unforgiveness to someone else um, and it might be affecting your body uh, so go ahead and release and ask God to forgive you and release that person that has wronged you has trespassed against you uh, as you release them God will release you he will release you when you release others so now let's just take it and if you know if you're not sick if you're well if you're okay if you know someone, maybe they have the COVID-19 or, or the uh, different strain of it or whatever. Or, it yeah, or, or there's many other or There's many sicknesses. other diseases out yes. there, right? Many other things that uh, heart conditions, uh, diabetic conditions, there's kidney all kinds of issues. kidney issues, uh, whatever the issues, uh, so many different diseases out there that could affect us. But Jesus said that he delivers you from all, all. sicknesses. Diseases, yes, yes. Legs, doesn't matter what we are it is. Whole. We are delivered from that. When mm. Jesus came and walked this earth, hallelujah, it says he healed all of them. He oh, healed all. Whether it was leprosy, hallelujah, if it was a withered hand, it didn't it didn't matter what it was. God says he healed all diseases. Don't think that if you got cancer or something that is too too hard for God, nothing is too difficult for him. Nothing, no disease is too difficult for him. No, nothing is too difficult for God. Hallelujah. Take and eat.
Hallelujah, hallelujah. Then he took. We thank you, Lord. Yeah. You know. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. You know, um, Paul, when he was administering um, communion from Second Corinthians, Second Corinthians, eleven and eleven and eleven, or somewhere along from there, eleventh chapter. He was he was actually administering that from a position of reprimand because they were not observing the body of Christ the way they should. And he said, because you do not, you sleep unto death. Because you don't remember who Jesus is, what he done for us. Jesus had been among them and had, they had seen healings, they had seen deliverances. They had been testified and told. But when they came together, instead of taking the body of Jesus Christ and his blood and observing and remembering who he was and who he is, they had their own agenda. Their flesh got in the way. So Paul was reprimanding them and saying, listen, you need to forgive you need to remember who Jesus is. I truly believe that if people would take that have sickness or whatever, would take communion and take it from a position that they're remembering that Jesus is the healer, that he is the deliverer, they would be healed. I truly believe that. I actually have a book on it from, um, um, oh my goodness, Perry Stone wrote a wonderful book on it. Um, now this is the blood, the fruit of the vine. Yes. Then he took the cup, gave thanks. He gave thanks, Lord, we thank you. Gave thanks to God and gave it to them. And he said unto them, drink it all of you, he said. This is my blood which seals God's covenant. Mm, yes. My blood poured out for many yes. for the forgiveness of sin. Amen. I tell you, I will never drink again drink this wine until the day I drink the new wine with you in my father's kingdom. He shed his blood. He shed his blood for the remission of our sins. He shed his blood. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. To create, to establish a new covenant for us with, 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 with Father. Before this, it was the blood of the lamb. Mm -hmm. It was going to the priests. It was confession yeah. before the priests, wasn't right. it? And they said they laid their hands on the goat. On the goat. And transferred the sins to the, the scapegoat, they call it. Scapegoat. And That's where scapegoat came Into from. the wilderness. Exactly. But when Jesus came. Once and for all. Once and for all. <laughs> Woo! No more need for animal sacrifice. His blood paid the price for us, yeah. y'all. His blood paid the price Perfect for lamb us. without blemish. Perfect lamb without blemish. What's so powerful about it is he willingly gave. Mm -hmm. Like a sheep to the slaughter. You know, because I, 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 I say he could have just... The Bible says he could have called the millions legions of angels. legions of angels to just wipe everybody out <laughs> rescue to take care of it my god thank you jesus Woo! the love of the creator for his creation the love of god Woo! the love of god thank you father kept jesus on the cross 
Thank you, Father, for sending your son. Yes. Thank you, Father, for sending your son. Yes, Lord. Thank, Thank you, Father. What you've done for us. Thank you, Jesus, for coming. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, oh, for coming. God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for leaving Thank us you, the Holy Lord. Spirit. Yes, Lord. Giving us the Holy Spirit to dwell on the inside of us. Love us, Son, and Holy Ghost. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. And drink. Hallelujah. Oh, your blood, Jesus. Oh, your blood, oh, your blood. Stains me white as snow. Stains me white as snow. Yes. Your blood stains, stains me white. Me white as snow. Woo. Yes, it does. Stains me white as snow. Mm. Can you find that song? No, this we can't sing. See if we can find it on the But we can't sing it. Oh, that's right. Whoa, the blood of Jesus was shed for me way back on Calvary. That gives me strength from day to day. It will never lose its power. It reaches to the highest mountains and it flows. To the lowest valleys, oh, the blood that gives me strength from day to day, it will never lose, it will never Your blood, Jesus, it, it will never lose its power. Your blood, Jesus, blood. never lose its power. Blood. Hallelujah. Your blood. Thank you, Jesus. Your blood. Your blood Lord. 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 Let's pray in the spirit. Sing in the spirit. Sing in the spirit. Sing in the spirit. Thank you, Lord. Oh, your blood. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus, Father. For Glory, we thank you, Lord. Not with silver and gold, Lord, but with your Glory, precious blood. Glory, we thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for you redeeming us. Glory, we thank Bringing you, us, Lord. to the Father, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We praise and worship you, Lord. Glory be to thy name, O Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise be unto you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory. We sing praises unto your name. We sing praises unto your name. Unto you, Lord. Oh Lord. We sing praises unto you. Hallelujah. Oh Lord. Praises unto you. Oh, Lord, for your name is great and greatly to be praised. We sing praises to your name. Oh, Lord, praises to your name. 
Oh Lord, for your name is great and greatly to be praised. I'm not saying if I love to sing to the Lord. <laughs> we lo we uh, love to sing to the uh, Lord. Amen. amen. Praise God. For your name is, is great. great. And greatly to be praised. Singing. Yeah. Oh. Hallelujah. We Praise sing God. unto he the loves Lord. It. He loves it. The Lord loves you singing to him. Hallelujah. He loves you Praise singing God. to him. I think I need to um, uh, bless the people with the Arianic blessing. Amen. amen. Okay, it's right there. Oh, amen. <laughs> we got it on a sign in a... Uh, in our altar area. I'm going to bless you with the Arianic blessing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Yes. The Lord make his face shine, shine on upon you. you and be gracious to you. To you. The Lord the turn Lord his, turns face his face towards, towards you and, and give, give you peace. peace. Number Amen. 6, 24. God 26. bless you. God bless, God bless you. you. We hope we'll to be, be back tomorrow. Tomorrow, and we're going to read Psalms 91 yes, every day. Every day, and that's our our pill. That's yes. our. <laughs> if you, <laughs> that's our gospel. That's our yeah. That's our uh, protection is uh, Psalms 91. So we need to read it every day. Amen. Hallelujah! Praise God. Amen. God bless you. Love you, Ada. God bless, God bless you.